state management is an aspect of information literacy training. Maybe one of the main thing, one main reasons why librarians are in a very strong position to respond to the research data management agenda is because um, we've got such networks across organisations. So um, librarians share information with each other, and therefore they're in a good position to be act quite proactively to, to respond to new agendas like research data management. When other parts of the information, IT communities are not as strong. And although the archive community in the UK and late archive managers in institutions also have a, uh, a lot of relevant knowledge to managing research data, they, ha they aren't a bit as big a group as simply haven't got the resources to kind of respond to research data. So those are some of the reasons why librarians might be considering taking on this role of research data management. And we did a survey of UK institutions last year, and about 50% of uh, HEIs that responded to our survey. Um, this indicated that actually, although service, the development of services is quite a low level, there's definitely uh, uh, it's perceived to be a priority for the next three years. So you probably can't really understand this diagram very well, but down the left hand side is a list of different roles we librarians have been. Uh, it's been said in the literature that they should play in research data management. Those are the roles. The blue is really saying, well, we're not really doing anything at the moment. So you can tell that and red basically means, well, we're just providing a very basic service. So in the UK, you can see in most areas, libraries aren't really doing that much at the moment. On this slide, though, this, this represents rather what plans there are in place for the next three years. And again, you may not be able to see it very clearly, but um, there's one, um, the lighter blue there, is where, where respondents basically are saying, uh, somebody needs to do something about this, but it's not us. It's the responsibility of others. You can see that, in fact, that's a very low percentage. So people are saying it's a high priority for us, different priorities in different areas, but it's a high priority for us, and we don't see it as a role but as somebody else to do the work. This is made a slightly clearer kind of representation where you've got in rank order the things that people identified as um, the main priority now, or the, no, the current activity now, one down to 18, and then in the right hand column is the different, what they were saying, the priority for future is. So some quite interesting um, Different differences between what you're doing now and what we plan to do in the future. So you can see that developing policy is at the top in both of this, but whereas things like copyright, which we're probably quite adept at supporting at the moment, um, doesn't seem that important in the long run. Whereas things like advisory services and training to research students and early career um, researchers were seen as a really high priority. So to summarize all that, basically, People are going to do stuff, but they're not doing much now, is the overall conclusion, I suppose. And what did they identify as the key barriers? Well, they certainly thought that um, skills required and also resourcing were the key issues. That tends to be what the repeated message. Have we got the skills, but also have we got the resources? In regards to skills, about 40% you know, were saying something to the effect, we've got some people with the right skills, but not enough people. And then uh, another 40% were saying something like, nobody's got the right skills, oh, but a few people have got the right skills. But as of the same, really, they were basically saying, we haven't, we've got some of the right skills, a few people have got the right skills, we haven't spread them around enough. So there's obviously quite a lot of challenges in kind of uh, addressing this uh, new agenda of research data management. We know that librarians have already got lots of things to do. They say they're very busy, but they haven't got time to take on new roles, they tell us. And also, I think we've done some interviews since with um, different uh, respondents asking them more, more depth about their experience. And one of the things that comes out about to me is they're already operating in a very complex environment. Often they're undergoing organisational change anyway, for other reasons, partly perhaps because of the economic 
uh, climate. So taking on a new role while actually having your resources under threat seems to be kind of a big problem. Another key issue that we felt was important was that a lot of librarians, they've got a master's in librarianship in the UK, they've typically got that level of education, but they don't necessarily have any immediate or direct experience of research. And many reports have indicated, like the Auckland report last year, suggested that libraries have, over the long term, not supported research as well as they should have done. There's actually a lot of different services that libraries should be developing for research, to support research. And if librarians themselves haven't got a personal experience of research, they're going to have problems identifying, kind of understanding the perspective of researchers. So I think events like today are very useful where it's mostly been the researchers talking about what research really means. And I think that's what librarians need to get hold of, at really understanding that. A third thing that we thought was, yes, that we've got relevant skills, but do we, uh, can we apply them to these new contexts? Do we know anything about um, uh, metadata for data? Do we, even, you know, do we even know how to cite data? Can we advise people on that? Another issue is, are we going to be taken seriously? Uh, is the library somewhere people can go for advice about research data management? That's, that was a very big concern with the librarians we were working with. To, should we start going out and talking to people, or should we wait until we've got some, some service to offer? That was, that was uh, a key issue. Then there's also sheer complexity and scale of the issues. If, if you're trying to support every research in an institution, you're talking about many people, and each of them have got complex data issues, that's going to be a big problem. And finally, in case I haven't put you off enough, uh, the resources and infrastructure in many institutions simply isn't in place. So there are pretty big challenges for librarians. So we were not surprised that when one of our more, we're developing these learning materials, we had some quite amusing icebreaker activities. So one was to ask people, well, as I should let you think about it first, well, if research data management was an animal, what would it be? Any thoughts? Anybody have a call out? If research data management were an animal itself, what do you think they would be? What do you think they might have said? This, a porcupine, yeah, that sounds good. Very dangerous animal, if cornered. Any other suggestions? Turtles. A oh, which type? Turtle. A turtle? Why a turtle? Uh, to get the data secure. Oh, yes, that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's very good. Any other, any other suggestions? Ah, I guess a centipede, would you call it? Yes, yes. So we've got some answers of that sort. So we had things like a lot of a pleasant looking spider in a web, an um, octopus with many arms. Some people, some people said it was like dragon. a dragon because they thought it was maybe a mythical beast anyway. They weren't really sure, did it really exist? They hadn't really encountered it. There's this rather nice one about ants clinging together, some sort of ant that clings together to form a raft in flooding to save them, each other. And then maybe the most telling one was, the last one was kind of protein creature a creature that's just coming into being, that we don't really know what it is. That was what librarians said. So clearly, there's a kind of a lot of anxiety and um, uncertainty around the whole agenda that was coming out of, uh, out of this particular exercise. So 